This week we have been exploring the Thai town of Pai. It's well known for its mountainous landscape, cheap living and relaxed vibes. Sounds perfect, but not everyone is willing to risk the four hour journey to get here. The minibus journey from Chiang Mai isn't for everyone. It's a tight squeeze with the luggage going on top. Inside it's very warm and known to make you travel sick when twisting and turning through the winding roads. It's never a good sign when travel sickness tablets are sold at the ticket office. So let's find out if it's worth the journey. We settled into our hotel before heading out to find our first meal in Pai. Things didn't go to plan. So we're at the Nars kitchen. So here you write down your own order and I presume you go give it them and the rest is done for you. It's a good idea. Tis because actually. like if Tom went up and asked for something, no one would be able to understand him because of the accent. <laughs> yeah, but in writing, there's no accents. Yeah, I have to write it anyway, don't I? Well, yeah, cause cause they oh yeah, because they won't be able to read my handwriting. <laughs> so I'm no better off. One. So it's all happening now down at Nas Restaurant. The cards are having to go away because the starter of spring rolls are here, but it's started throwing it down. And we've only got the one pair of chopsticks. The keys like having power cuts as well, yeah. so all of a sudden it just goes flat. So. It is proper traffic down, it's leaking in a bit as well. This is a bit messy. Dinner has been served, Lauren's tucked in, how is it? Nice. I got it! So it's still absolutely throwing it down, but we need a 7-Eleven for breakfast tomorrow, uh -huh. so ah, uh, lightning. And we need to protect my eyelashes because I've just had them done and you can't get wet for 24 hours and this is getting them wet. So we're going to make a run for it, but look at this. Right, are, we are we going for it? Yeah. You want to go first? Oh, that's just drenching, isn't it? Should we just take cover here, Lauren? Lauren! Oh. We've already started it now. I know, but literally, we'd have been absolutely drenched wet through. I know. Look, there's loads of other people doing it. Yeah, in brollies. Shall we go for it then? Mm. Oh. Yeah. The novelty and excitement has wore off. We just want to get back now. We've got our big bag of shopping. Oh, hang on. Five minutes. Yeah. So we got a taxi to the hotel when we got dropped off at the bus station. And luckily we took a picture of his number. So, because there's not many taxis around Pat. Like, you can't use Grab. Yeah, there's no Grab or Uber, so... We're relying on this guy and he said about five minutes. It's so. only a ten minute walk, but in this weather... Oh, the light! But if this weather, it's going to be like absolutely yeah. yeah, it's just not worth it. We're back. We're even drenched, even getting taxis. So... Oh. Oh, that's <laughs> No, I think I just don't put... Oh, if you don't in. put the key Try in. Try that. I'll put it in right. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to get... We're going to have a cosy night. Yeah, we are. Because we need one. We, we do. don't want to be out in this. So let's get sorted. I'm cold. Hello, this is our third day in Pai and although the hotel room is really really nice and we don't really have any complaints Only 21 we, quid a night We didn't realise it was a hostel We've been sharing with quite a few little peeps, haven't we Tom? <laughs> so we've had a bit of an ant issue, mm -hmm. in particular in my bag They're all in my bag, I left it open on the floor which is probably a stupid thing to do but we hadn't had this before They've like all kind of clustered round. There's loads. Is there? They're everywhere. Are there? Oh! Oh no. Ew, what on earth? They're everywhere. Oh no. Oh, Tom. Sorry. This is horrendous. Look at that. Ew! Thing is, it looks like we're in proper paradise as well. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. We are in proper paradise and we're but, just complaining. But then it's like when you have this outside in type vibe, 
No, because I, I dread to think what's gone in already. Uh, I mean, we had a lizard in the room last night. And then there's a bird which sounds literally in like the room. Like it's in the that. aircon unit. <laughs> yeah. But I think we've sourced the problem. They were like, I don't know what it were, because it was meant to be a clean top, but they were like something sweet smelling, which seemed to attract Like a little them. wet patch. <laughs> but we are heading to the gym this morning. We're trying to get into a bit of a fitness regime. Yeah. But later today, we've got a tour of Pi as well. So yes, we have. it's really good. It's cheap as anything. So we're on our way now. It's pretty much just like a few big long streets is Pi. So everything's all near each other, which is why I like it. I'm in a mood. I know. Can you snap out of it, please? No, because you've put me in it. After we had finished bickering, we got a good gym session in and continued with our day. We're all done at the gym. We boiling. are very hot and sweaty. There's no air con, it's just fans, so... So you're literally dripping Yeah. Sweat. Now it's time to find a bit of lunch before our day we ahead. We had a bit of a problem with a dog walking here. We did. This dog came running and like barking at what us. What kind of dog was it? It was one of them nasty I don't know. Ones. I don't know what's got into us. We're on healthy meals. We're going to gym. We don't do this Honestly, at all. No, we don't. So, well, we've only been doing it for about two days yeah, anyways. it won't last, will it? <laughs> so we've managed to source some dragon fruit. 20 bar. Is it a good one? Mm -hmm. Is it sweet? Mm, so good. Some are a bit watery. So she chops it up and it opens up into a star. And then you just peel it off and then literally there. Okay. Anyway, we're going for the tour of Pi. So it's got loads of things involved. The canyon, a big Buddha, some viewpoints, a waterfall. We're now en route to another hotel where we're gonna get picked up because we're going with some people. Some Who we... people. <laughs> some friends. So we're going with some friends from a different hotel who we met on the way here. Thank, Thank you. you. So we're getting picked up now and I presume we go to somewhere where more people get in or yeah, I presume it's not maybe there's us. just loads of these. Oh yeah, maybe. I bet there's loads just... of these going round so we might have some other visitors as well. We'll have to see. We're arriving at the White Buddha. They want to bring it down here for us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where is it? Oh. Can you go up and take a video and let us know? I'll let you know what it looks like. <laughs> so it looks like there's a big walk up, some big stairs. The Bad. viewpoint's going to be good though. Fair few steps. Uh, turn how many around. do you think it is, Sam? I don't know. Do you want to count? <laughs> no, not really. It is very, very warm and you need to put like a long, some kind of like trousers be covered or skirt up on and then woman. cover. Is it, your, um, is it your shoulders that you need to cover? Yeah, and your knees. Knees and shoulders, so we are sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much at the top now. Fair view. And there's the Buddha. We are here at the White Buddha. Now, there are quite a few steps. So if you're not a fan of climbing, then they haven't built like a cable car yet, <laughs> which isn't ideal. It is but worth it though. It is worth it, but on a hot day, just bring some water and a fan. We're going to the waterfall now, but there's a little tunnel here. Oh, there's some food. Looks nice. Looks better than that one we went to um, Koh Samui. Oh gosh, yeah. See how clean it is. After watching some people slide down rocks, we headed to Yun Lee Viewpoint, where you can see sleepy cats, fish, oh, really and a beautiful fish. view of the countryside. The next stop was the Chinese village, where you can see mud huts from when some Chinese refugees made it their home. It has now been made into a tourist attraction, but it is still home to around 2,000 people. It was then time for a coffee and some food before heading to the bamboo bridge. So we are at the bamboo bridge. This is Meg. Hi, I'm said people. Because we're going with some people. Yes, she is. So what are we thinking? How are we feeling about it? Oh, Ben's over there on the swing, loving life. Really there he is. <laughs> we think it's more just like a tourist attraction. I don't think people yeah. like came here to... It was well, not there like is historical. Water everywhere. No. Maybe there's been like a bit of flooding and they've just built <laughs> built a raft. <laughs> I think they're ice paddy fields. And this is Ben, our other friend that we've met. And then there's Tom, we know him, they're just gonna swing together. That is no. so sweet, you guys. This is really nice. We could do like a voiceover over yeah. this. 
We're at the last place of the day now. We're the going canyon. To the canyon. For sunset, so that should be nice. But yeah. The driver think, will pop up putting his foot down because I think he thought we were gonna miss it, bless him. But I think everyone in Pi has come for the sunset at the canyon. It's so. literally hustling and bustling with tourists. <laughs> We recommend visiting the canyon in the day as it was very very busy at sunset but it's not far from Pi so if you ride a scooter it's easy to visit. We then headed back to Pi for a little group meal before we headed back to the hotel. So we've now made it home, it was a bit of a scary walk home to be honest yeah, with you. It was. So basically when we came home the other night we came home at like 12 o'clock at night mm. or something like that and we walked past and all of a sudden we had barking and stuff like that so we like ran off uh, to our hotel but and then again tonight we were walking and then from ages away it started barking yeah. and so I thought oh, well we can join the road further on but we joined pretty much where the where dog the was dogs were. and luckily there were some people like, working in a fruit and veg shop and I just said our hotel's there but the dog <laughs> and they went ah and like, so they yeah. must have had it before because like at home this would never even be an issue but the dogs are so scary and they look so aggressive and they're like but there's some yeah. which like they just chill and yeah. like literally yeah, they just chill. run around you they're not bothered at all yeah. and you don't feel threatened they just walk past but you but we've had one this morning which like barks and growls at you and comes towards you mm. but yeah we're gonna go to bed because we're up for 10 o'clock in the morning to these caves so well yeah so we'll stay see you in the that. morning so when you're in Pi, it doesn't have to be go, 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 does it? Like, no, it doesn't. You can have a chilled out day by the pool, like we have done today, and then you can head to the night market or the walking street. Which where, are the same thing. Yeah, and there's loads of stalls, loads of restaurants, loads of bars, and it's lively. So mm. we're going to go there tonight, but not we, for a mad one. Well, no, of course not. But we were meant to go to the caves today, to what are they called? Not sure. <laughs> we'll uh, put it down below. But we're going we were meant there. to visit the caves, and I woke up feeling very poorly, didn't I? This you did. Morning. A taxi driver who was meant to be taking us to the caves today, who I messaged literally like an hour before saying, I'm so sorry, I've woken up and I'm really poorly. And he said, It's a pity you won't get to see them. Get well soon. So, oh. so there's loads going on. There's the clove section straight away, but oh, and then. There is crepes, might get one of them later, but yeah, it starts off with the cloves and then it heads into more of the food. All these stands aren't here in the day apparently, we haven't been here during no. the day. Uh, so and then they all just the appear. Walking street in the day where there's like shops either side and then at the evening it turns into the night market. So, but we're looking for a proper restaurant I think. Food has arrived. It's the first time we've gone to a burger place and mm. it looks, looks good. Looks nice. Happy with the choice? Yeah, I am actually, yeah. So that was pretty good. That yeah, cost £8.70 and the burger were good and you loved the chips, didn't the you? The chips were really nice actually, yeah. The burgers were smallish but they've done a job because it's left a bit of room for pudding, so that's the next They have, which job. is good, and we won't have spent that much, really, no, will we? we've had a well cheap day, yeah. which pie is so cheap. Like, it's the cheapest place we've been in, so. <laughs> Lauren's favourite bit of the night. We've gone for a crepe. It's too busy. <laughs> so we were going to book a trip to see the caves tomorrow. Anyway, it turns out the whole thing's flooded, basically. It's all so underwater. It's all so underwater. We said, he, we said, can we have an half day trip? He goes, I wouldn't recommend. We said, why? And he said, well, it's all underwater. So we thought, right, okay. So what, there were nothing else, were there? No, that so was it. I think that's pretty much all there is two pie really good morning good morning so today we're gonna have quite a nice day mm -hmm. but we'll also be showing you how cheap it all is because we're gonna be having massage food gym and it don't cost a lot right let's be careful because this is where the dogs are at i haven't seen a lot of them recently the so this is like a very western breakfast place mm -hmm. isn't it but it does yeah. look nice plenty of option all the photos of food looks really good Ooh. this looks good it is a bit more expensive but you get plenty of it so it's well worth it and it only actually came to about 12 pound 20 which at home you'd be paying that for one person so happy days so we're here at the gym now it's 60 pound for the day you can have longer memberships if you want but yeah, it's a decent gym. 
got your cardio stuff and then you wait through in the other rooms. Okay. My, it's my treat. Your treat. Thank you. So that's the hard work done for the day. <laughs> we're now heading back to the hotel. But we're tired out. We're going to do some sunbathing when the UV index is high. And then we're going to get lunch later if you fancy it. Or we could even do the massage first. Yeah. We had a big breakfast, didn't we? We did. Mine were a bit grim, I must admit. They were just full of veg. A breakfast wrap, what do you expect? Egg, bacon, sausage, ash brown. It were like peppers and onion and egg. No, but it said this egg. on the description, Tom. I know, but I didn't read the description, did I? Well, I literally told you to read the description. Right, we're just going to have this argument and then we'll come back to you after that. <laughs> so the courts have had to go on. It came on hammering it down. We've just been relaxing in the pool, like, for what an hour an hour or two yeah so we ended up talking to this other couple in the pool who were really lovely so time was like flying wasn't it that was like two hours and then we came back to the hotel room and we thought right because our plan is to go get some food and then head for a massage and it came on just absolutely lashing yeah. it down and it's still raining a bit now but it's just got a bit of a break in the weather so we're gonna hopefully get to somewhere and get some food undercover we're at pie indian We've already actually been to this Indian, so when she gave us the menu, there was no need. We knew exactly what we wanted. Butter chicken, chicken bolte, garlic naan, pilau rice. That sort sorted day in, day out. We've only just made it in time because it started throwing it down again. The Indian was very good. Highly recommend. I think it's just called something like pie Indian. Yeah. It's like the only one here. But now we've picked up uh, ironing, which for all that, only cost 104. Oh, down there? Yeah. It only cost 140 bar for a full bag of washing. Although Lauren thinks that they've hand washed it, but I don't think they have. No, it's fine if they have, it's just whether all the stains have come out. Well, I didn't see a washing machine. It'll be fine. Or the dryer. <laughs> I just saw no. loads of buckets. No. It's all going to be okay. Anyway, we're off for an oil massage. Lauren's found one. Looks a bit sketch, but it'll no, it be okay. Doesn't. It does not. So, we've just had a massage, an oil massage. First thing is you pretty much have to take all your kit off. Does she start rubbing your belly? Yeah. Yeah. And having a massage, so it's after an Indian. <laughs> <laughs> We're all going on. Yeah. Just she give that your bum a good rub? Yeah. Yeah. Picking elbows in. Yeah. I had that as well. <laughs> it it was a very thorough job. Tom said that his lady dug her legs. She grabbed my arms behind me and was sticking feet in. I was like this, and then she would got on me and dig elbows in all up here. Yeah, my lady never did that. Really? Yeah. The worst part is my curtain were wide open to the street and I was on boxes. So, <laughs> so this is street food when there's nowhere to sit. You come to a 7 Eleven, buy yourself, buy yourself a beer or a drink of any description. And this is where you go. This is well done. So that's it for Pai. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Next time you'll see us, we'll probably be heading to Vietnam. So that will be good fun. That will be an adventure. So <laughs> like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. But once again, if not, no worries at all. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.